So I've arrived at Toy Sapiens for the Black Panther Legacy event and yeah let's see what they have on display here to celebrate Wakanda forever. Uh, just looking at the window, no Black Panther stuff here, just the regular display. Um, but I am excited to see more of this guy. This is the Avengers Campus Spider-Man from Hot Toys. I was going to pre-order this so it will be interesting to see what it looks like. So he's Black Panther. We have some t-shirts and over here just some Fortnite stuff. A uh, lot of cool t-shirts. I love the designs on these but I just don't like the fabric that they use. It's like a sheer kind of stretchy material. It doesn't seem to be very popular. I don't know why they use that. Um, we've got some horror dolls. Not as good as the Neko figures. Uh, Playmobil Enterprise. I loved Playmobil when I was a kid. And we have the Black Panthers. Now I missed out on this Civil War version. I would really like to have that so I have pre-ordered the reissue and um, we have Black Panther movie version which I do have. I refuse to pose mine like that because it will get damaged. Uh, we have T'Challa, he looks okay, not the best head sculpt and here he is again. I don't know why they changed the head sculpt from the prototype. We do have Killmonger here now I have been hunting this guy for quite some time hard to get at a reasonable price and Shuri too. Shuri doesn't seem to be so popular which is a shame that's a good looking figure I think and a good head sculpt there interesting to see what the new one looks like T'Chaka and also the new Black Panther now I am excited to have a look at this and just looking at it now, it does look like the same body and suit as the Civil War version uh, with that added shield. It's got the wider proportions like the Civil War version, which is good because it's different. Uh, shame we don't get to see that head sculpt, but that's the main reason I did pick this one up. And I do love that suit from Civil War. I wish we got more of that in the movies. And yeah, we got some other Black Panther stuff here this time. Dolls, these are like Barbie dolls. But Okoye there and Shuri in a jumpsuit and Nakia. Uh, and these are pretty cool. If you can get your daughters or your kids into Black Panther, it's pretty cool. And the throne there. Okay, over here we've got some discounted gimmicky stuff and leather goods. No, thank you some soft toys some cutesy stuff again not for me more cutie stuff over here this cos babies or this is something different um but yeah he's cute i like him spidey the ice cream and right down here we've got uh groot baby groot from disney plus limited show war machine iron man 2 version i think um iron man there and more war machines mark 85 battle damage version that does look really good i do have the regular version but i do like that one hook there ah oh, here's the new black widow now that doesn't look great i don't know why they changed the end game one it looks so much better um, but yeah and taskmaster some of those left down there let's have a look over here this big spider there and we have Falcon Bucky Deadpool I would like a Deadpool and Cable I think Cable is one that a lot of people passed on you can see him on shelves everywhere but he's a great looking figure I guess people just didn't really connect much with that movie uh, the Far From Home Iron Man from the vision that Spider-Man gets. The detail on that is actually really, really good. Um, but yeah, it's only in the move for a short time. Uh, the Neon Tech Iron Man. It's a really nice base there. Cool idea. But yeah, if it's not in the movie, not really interested. Except for this one, I do like this one, the Origins 
uh, classic Spidey. A Spidey? Iron Man. But I really wish he didn't have that plastic on him. Why does he have that clear plastic? So that would be perfect. And uh, what do they call this? The holographic Iron Man. Cool color, but again, not in the movie. Over here we've got some bus, we've got Pepper Potts uh, Rescue and the costumes here now there is Black Panther but I think they need a bit of a bigger mannequin he looks a bit too skinny there yeah interesting seeing that up close at the back there I don't know is that Okoye's general clothes and T'Challa's robes uh, Ramonda's dress she always has really cool outfits and at the back there that's I guess that's Nakia's regular outfit maybe and of course Killmonger about two billion people all over the world that looks like us but their lives are a lot harder Wakanda has the tools to liberate them all now that is a great Headdress there would be cool to have that mask on the wall. Some more Kondo Forever lights, and over here more Hot Toys, Venomized Iron Man. Again, looks pretty cool, but you know, just the concept. Then we have this guy, which I do have. I love that back display, doesn't fit my Deep Tough though. I like that pose, it's pretty cool. I might steal that idea. A bit worried about the fabrics though. Same with this one, Gwen, great figure, but I keep her posed in a very stationary museum pose. And this future neon punky Spidey from the game. I never played with that outfit. And here we are, so no head sculpt yet, but we do have the amazing Spider-Man Garfield, Spidey on the cool diorama that uh, does look great i didn't pre-order it with the diorama um but yeah it does look really damn good the advanced suit tom and again nice little display there and look at that sandman another great diorama display and i think i like this suit the best out of the hot toys not my favorite spidey but i love the look of this suit that shine on that blue great together and here is the campus avengers campus version now i was going to get this because i thought it was going to be all fabric but it turns out the blue is actually the rubbery kind of pleathery material um so i think i'd rather go with the zombie hunter if i was going to get that design but he still looks really good i wouldn't put him in my display with the hoodie on and yeah, over here we've got Marvel Legends. I've picked up some of these, like Black Panther there. Or what kind of forever ones here. And yep, some of the regular toys, children's toys. I wish my kids were into these, because they are pretty cool. It'd be fun to play around with these. Some more sets up here from the game, and there is Yuri. Thor, my wife's favorite, doing his thing. Not from the best movie though, Love and Thunder there. Now uh, we have Echo, Bad Batch, more Chrome Death Troopers, and tons left over, and Baba there. And that head sculpt, that has to be one of the best head sculpts Hot Toys have ever done. That is just so good. And uh, what do you call that? Blurg? She got a Blurg? From Mandalorian. And I really wished I'd picked up this guy. IG-11. And I sold out now. Looks fantastic. Really hard to get. And Gideon. With the dark saber there. Pretty cool seeing that plug. Some DC stuff over here. We have the Cos Babies, the big size ones there. And McFarlane's, mainly from Black Adam. 
and here's some black series can't believe how many black series there are these days i remember i just clicked in the orange and blue lines really limited now look there's so many so glad i stopped buying these because i'd have no money and Ando, great show some of the best star wars i've ever seen three and three quarter inch figures here i don't have any of these anymore and yeah this is pretty cool look at that nice statue there grogu from sideshow and we've seen more before hmm, star wars goodies some more statues up here ah this one ig11 and speeder bike it's just such a cool scene and grogu meditating more cuz babies and some erasers <laughs> with a lunchbox. Finally, some spawn figures. I'm not big on spawn, I don't really know much about it, but yeah, I can understand why people like these. They, they look pretty awesome. This is Akihabara. This is the Nerd Mecca for many people. Uh, so much cool stuff here. I'm here for the Tamashi Nation exhibition, um, but yeah, I will stop buy a couple of my favorite stores before heading over amiami famous to a lot of people for pre-orders and we got hot toys sideshow visions and a lot of cool star wars stuff some horror masks and this is my go-to place for mafix as you can see they've got so much on display so much for sale including the new harley there i will be picking that up um, we also have some Mezco, Mezco Wolverine up there, pretty pricey though. And uh, of course McFarlane's, lots of Robocop and Predator stuff, Super 7, Turtles started popping up here too. And of course all the McFarlane toys spawn and Batman figures. Some of the vintage stuff and then we also have Black Series and Marvel Legends. Of the same stuff um, across the universe, across the Spider Verse. Man, I'm so looking forward to that movie. Most anticipated. Some cute alien, predator, and Sentinel Miles hologram version. This stuff's pretty cool. Sometimes a bit more expensive, but yeah, it's cool that the personnel carrier from Aliens. Lots of cool aliens figures and gremlins, NECA, NECA gremlins are so, so good. Also third party stuff here, you can sometimes find some cool 1-6 scale figures here from third parties and a decent price. There's a thousand toys Halo figure, Master Chief, and Street Fighter, Cyberpunk. That's a good price for this lightsaber. Um, but yeah, it seems like it's got some issues with it. I don't know why it says Ray, Ray lightsaber. Is it Ray's? Yes, she did inherit it. This place is a bit pricey, but good for Star Wars. Often have lots of the leftover stuff that you can't find anywhere else. Same with the Marvel Legends. Um, but they do knock up the prices here. More NECA horror figures, Gremlins again, Chucky, Michael Myers there, more Legends and Transformers there at the bottom. And up here we've got some of the Super 7 Turtles line. Okay, so we're on the move again. Let's head over to the Tamashii Nation. 2022 event i have just been to the actual store uh, they wouldn't allow videos but there was absolutely nothing in there that i was excited to see it was just all robot and japanese anime figures uh, hopefully the main event has some better stuff as you can see really colorful and cute this is akihabara 
you go for catches and arcades everywhere. The main event for Tomashi is in that building, so we've got to cross the road. See maids there on the right. That's supposed to record them. That's where they cover their faces if they see a camera. Um, but yeah, we have to get over there. So let's go and find the crossing to get to the other side. Here we are. So, again, lots of lights. I love this place. I think the entrance is just around here on the right. And I think there are a couple of floors to this event. So, we'll see what we can find. I'm not really interested in a lot of the Japanese stuff because I just don't know enough about it. We're in. Okay, so this does look like it is the Japanese character floor. I have no idea who these guys are. Cool though. It's a shame that I'm not into these, but it's probably a good thing. Otherwise I'd be broke. Some people clearly interested. I like this window here. Look at these. Are these Gundam? Incredible, there are so many. How do people keep up? Kudarama there. I guess Gundam have been going on longer than Transformers. I recognize this. This is the Gundam dock in Yokohama. You can see a full size Gundam that actually moves. Now kind of south of Tokyo. Starbucks, I want a Starbucks. Let's have a look what we can see and some more Gundam here. They are really cool. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like this whole floor in Kamarada Gundam there. Udoraman. Looks like this is the Japanese floor. So this is the right place here, we've got Elden Ring up on the second floor, we've got some cool dragons from Monster Hunter. My bro Jared would like this one, the One Piece display. I read a couple of comics, I know Luffy, but yeah, not really big on One Piece. Dragon Ball 2. Troy would like these. The figure arts are so pretty, so cool for Dragon Ball because they're ridiculously cheap and they look great. Who's this guy? Is this Go Gohan, I guess? Again, don't listen to me, I don't know much about Dragon Ball. Vegeta, I know him. I like the colour of this one, that's cool. And yeah, here's some of the main guys, Piccolo there. Goku, of course. They do look great. Again, I should get into them. And Naruto. A nice display there. I know a lot of people are excited about these figure arts coming out for Naruto. And these are the Kimetsu no Yaba Demon Slayer. My daughters were into these for a while. Uh, but yeah, they've moved on to Spy Family. The Star Wars movie realization figures. We got the Stormtrooper battle damage this time. Another same Mando but with a Beskar sword and a bag. And the new Boba Fett. I think all of these are the same just with different accessories. And yet yeah, we got the best guy there. And the figure arts too. Squid Game is also very popular here in Japan so we do have the figure arts coming and there's little mini statues. I'm not sure if it's as popular as it is around the world but yep yeah, a great show. And these are the stylized concepts different versions of uh, Iron Man and Black Panther there and Wolverine. Uh, kind of interesting. And here we are. 
I know a lot of people interested in Sydney's. These are the Venom and Carnage figures. And let there be Carnage. Now, just look at that thing. Both of them, beautiful figures. I will be getting Venom next month. Uh, that head sculpt is just wow. But that Carnage. And over here we've got the figure art Spideys. Now I haven't actually seen these yet, so yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, there is Spider-Man, amazing Spider-Man there. I like those reflectors on his eyes. Looks like they're glowing up. And yeah, figures look pretty damn awesome. The scale of these actually looks pretty good. Usually figure arts look quite small, but these guys... I don't know, they look a little better. I could be wrong hard to say but good looking figures makes me wonder if I should get these just because you know I do plan to get the hot toys do I need them both but these would be really fun to play around with and pose as you can see here they just look great as a set okay back to venom and carnage let's check these out again because I know people are hyped about these and I can understand why that carnage is just incredible the detail on that thing just those arms that are coming off there at the back and how he's just positioned there and I love how they're fixed on there at the back as well great pose if I get the two of them which I will I haven't posed like this because that does look super super cool damn this guy is not actually on sale for sale uh, this is just an advertisement for the figures we saw earlier those kind of armored Iron Man figures no idea what these are um, not Gundam, Banshee, but interesting concept, and these two spirit robots, like angels, robot spirits, got a Mecha Godzilla, Godzilla still being super popular in the light up version, that's pretty awesome to be honest. And here is a human sized version too. And just think how crazy it was. People loved these in the past. This, these windows seem really popular. I'm not sure why. We got the Tommy Cars, Takara Tommy. Must be a popular Japanese show. interesting okay so that's it for me I'm gonna head back now just looking at the gacha 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 pawn see if there's anything worth picking up um, spy family there my daughter's favorite um, but yeah before I jump on the train home I'm just gonna head down here to one of the only comic shops in Japan that sells, well in Tokyo that sells American comics. One of two, list of comics. I really get to come to the store so I'm gonna pop in here, have a look around and yeah I'll catch you guys next time in the next video.